Hey friends, it's Brian. It's time for another build video on my Jeep project. Uh, this is video number 74. This is my build from a salvage Jeep that was totaled out by a major insurance company. I've almost got it ready to run back on the road. Um, so what we're going to work on today, and I, I really wanted to stop. I'm, I'm tired. I've already done a couple things to the Jeep today. But we're going to go ahead and put the console back in because we're done. So uh, I took the console out to get to this wiring and it made it easier to do certain other things. But again, I'm, I'm done with that, so we're going to put this back in. And I'm just going to dive right into it. So uh, this is not a difficult thing to remove. So if you have work to do under there, I strongly recommend removing the console. It might be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get that part back in, but... The console itself is easy to uh, put in and take out. One of the things I needed to do was, uh, well, not needed, but one of the things I wanted to do was replace the uh, transfer case shifter with an upgraded model. I put in the Savvy. I think if I had it to do again, I would do the Novak because Savvy's instructions suck ass. And that's putting it nicely. And, uh, you know, it just is what it is. Here, yep. Okay, it's really nice having that just shift. All right, so I got one more. And then I'm going to cheat and use my. Okay, I thought I had a... Oh, I do. Right. Oh, I thought this was going to get done in one shot, but nope, that ain't, ain't going to be that easy. Uh, bear All right, so... Uh, that's not the right socket, but I bet this is. No, it's not. Let's see if it is for this. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and do those. So I gotta go find the uh, socket that fits that. I think it's 10 millimeter. I'll be right back. It is 10 millimeter, so this will hopefully this will go pretty quick. for that.
Okay. So now we need to get this in. And honestly, I don't remember how, how this came out. Although, I have an idea. There we go. So that's definitely the last. Okay, so there are a few more trim screws that are involved. Um, well, maybe that's not it. Right, I thought that was. It's this one. Okay, maybe that is it. Alright, that's that one, that's for sure. That is it. What do you know? Always a good idea to have the clutch engaged. And you know what? The reason that wouldn't fit is because it went backwards. There we go. Wow, it's almost looking like a Jeep again. Need to wash that, that's disgusting. I'll put that in the dishwasher. Um, the door slams like a Jeep. Free rattle included at no additional charge. All right.
supposed to hold this in? pretty easy one um you need to replace this lame ass piece of shit put this over here i really want a better um i mean it doesn't have the speaker in here so clearly this isn't doing much i'd, I'd like to have a better console in this jeep um so I may be making one at some point in the near future. Uh, it's not a lot of room for one. Not certainly not like an F-150 where you got a ton of space. But uh, I mean, other than the fact that this thing is absolutely positively fucking filthy, I think we're getting there. And I think we're gonna be driving it pretty damn soon. I am leaving the dash open because I have no intention of putting I mean, it's a nice little Sony radio, but I have no intention of putting that piece of shit back in. Uh, I want to put something in that will support a backup camera, and I will cuss and swear at running the cable for that at a later point. Um, but this is all I wanted to do in this video was reinstall the console. Uh, I'm going to take this in and put it in the dishwasher. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Uh, but we're, we're getting there, and I'm really excited about it. I wonder if this is going to hold anything worth a shit. It's got slits in it, so that's great. It'll it'll leak soda and water. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting, um, and maybe it gave you some ideas. Uh, and be sure to check out the rest of my playlists on this Jeep build. Um, and uh, have a good day. Hey, a little bit of bonus content. Um, this broke off when I was working on it, and this one's probably not far from it. So that seems to be in better condition. But um, anyway, these are not very uh, difficult. They are part number 5517-6181-001, and I forget exactly what they were called. But I decided I'd replace them, so I bought new ones. Um, one's bad, the other's not far from it. And they appear to just whack up in there. I don't know exactly how that works. So let's get a screwdriver and see. Actually, I think they uh, install with a Allen wrench, and uh, I'm probably gonna have to do this differently. Uh, let me get some soap on this. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just using hand soap on this. not to damage it but it does appear that that is the right way to do it apparently there we go so now both of those are installed and ready to go pretty soon that's gonna be back on the Jeep and uh, quite frankly I'm excited because when that goes back in Jeep ready to go on the road. Um, so anyway, that was just a little something that needed to be done. It's not worth doing its own video, but this, I, I eventually want to place all the rubber on the Jeep and, uh, you know, we'll get there one 
piece at a time. Just a hunch that hand soap will be all the lubricant that this needs. There it goes. And that's correct. Hand soap it is. Now, this one closer is probably shot. Yep. And that's basically what happened to the other one. So let me find that other little piece. There it is. And we'll send that to recycling. I mean, this kind of rubber stuff's gonna wear out over time. And uh, yeah, it just is what it is. I'm kind of glad they were available because this is the kind of thing that I, I don't expect to ever be able to find anywhere else. So let me go lube this one up and I'll be right back. <laughs> 